Welcome back to AWE TV. With us is Jeff Powers, CEO of Occipital. Right. Jeff, what's new since last year's AWE? Well, we've made a huge amount of progress on the software side for the Structure Platform, um, which is our structure sensor here. Mm. Um, we have an SDK with this device that allows you to essentially transform a tablet into a spatial computing device. A year ago, we had very low resolution color scanning. Now we have very high resolution scanning of objects with the sensor uh -huh. on a tablet. And actually today at the show, we're also showing how you can use our system inside of a VR headset to allow you to positionally control and positionally explore okay. with the device. That makes sense. The, a lot of the, the mobile VR solutions, uh, there's this uh, you, loss of tracking sometimes. So it, mobile VR is really good because it gets VR into a lot of people's hands with you guys applying some kind of depth measurement so yeah. people for example don't walk into walls right uh, how does how does this you know, how does something like that benefit someone interested in vr right so with a lot of the mobile vr right now there is typically almost no positional awareness i mean there's right. rotational tracking right. and maybe there's like a marker based ar thing if if, if at all yeah uh, what we're doing is we're um, this is just an experiment really this sure, is sure. It, the main line of structure sensor is about things like capturing human bodies or we have full body scanning and face scanning but but for this VR experiment in particular we um, we're able to by, by observing the environment we're able to know exactly how you're moving mm -hmm. and we know when things get close to you and we can bring them into view yeah. so if you're in your living room but you're actually exploring a faraway world in VR but you get up too close to a wall the environment, act, the game actually, or the experience brings the wall brings into your view. Brings reality into the virtual and it, reality. And if you get too close, it actually says, hey, <laughs> turn around, or right. you, know, you might want to explore somewhere else. Yeah. So that's something that's unique about what, what our approach. I was at the booth earlier. I'm really amazed at you know, how fast your depth solution registers hard surfaces. I mean, it's with it, 30 frames a second. It, yeah. It's picking up every yeah. frame, right? Yeah. yeah. Really fast. I like seeing that. Uh, and also, e even. You guys, I'm sure, have amazing engineering going on in the background, but even just the UI of yeah. using your solution, Thank you. yeah. it looks really well. We focus a lot on it. We have the SDK that developers can build on top of, and we try to show some good practices. We have a developer program that people can join when they build apps. Yeah. And actually, we review every app. The reason we do it is to make sure that everybody's doing the best they can do from a UX perspective. Mm. At the end of the day, we don't reject apps, really. Sure. We just say, we really think you should do this to make it better or that to make it better. So you have a more of a close touch with your developers? Close relationship with those cool. developers, giving giving feedback. So that, that, encur you know, that encourages them to really do things right. Um, and then in terms of speed, it's something we obsess over in terms of making it so that you can you know capture the world and literally within a few frames, you're mm. actually seeing a reconstruction. What else are the developers saying? I mean, I imagine their feedback helps you guys yeah. improve your SDK, your yeah. tech over time. Developers want us to do things like um, let you capture models of entire homes sure. and being able to build and walk around those models. They want that. And they also want things like automatic geometry simplification and essentially construction of like a CAD model right. from the real world, right. which is a really hard problem. Yeah. Um, you know, we're, we're building these kind of gritty, real, triangular meshes of the world. Yeah. But to take it to the, the architectural CAD is an entirely different step. Mm -hmm. so, but it's in a direction that you know, we're interested in, or at least maybe finding others that are interested sure. in. What other industries are interested in Occipital? I, I, yeah. uh, from the conversation at the booth, it was uh, pre-vis, uh, film, yeah. visual effects. So yeah. They're getting interested. So, um, you know, we've actually seen via Twitter, the guys that are doing the visual effects for Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Okay. are actually using Structure Sensor all the time on the set. Okay. I mean, the idea is to do visual effects, you need a model of what you're going to manipulate. Right, right? right. So if you want to make somebody blow up or part of the scene have a hole in it, you need to have a model of what that looks like. Right. And today it's like pretty time consuming and costly to actually capture those models. Mm -hmm. But what if you could just point a device at your scene and capture it? Or what if you can capture a set? and send it to like a set yeah. director to inspect that from afar. So that's one application is, is VFX. Um, we've also seen a ton of adoption in medical. We've been really surprised. Yeah. People are using structure sensor to capture entire human bodies, human faces, wounds on people, as well as like their feet for custom products. Mm -hmm. um, so we've seen a lot of this. Um, and one area that I'd really love to see this see is see this go into is like remote medicine. 
imagine having a technician in the field, it's not a doctor, right. capturing a patient, sending that to a doctor who maybe has a VR headset on and can actually inspect the patient from afar. But medical has been, it's been amazing to see you know, our device used in medical. We never thought that would happen. Yeah. But someone like that, do they approach you? It's, yeah, it, so we put out our SDK with you know, videos showing some of the possibilities. Okay. And then really the community did the rest and found apps and developers and verticals. And then we just support it from there basically. Okay, very neat. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing more from Occipital. Uh, what do you guys expect to happen in the next year? What can we see from AWE next year? Yeah, so I hope we've made a lot of progress in a lot of the same areas. Um, you know, tracking, mapping, sensing. I really want to see us push forward in all those areas, and we are working on all those things. Um, there's a the hardware part of it, and I think we'll, we'll do new things in hardware. We'll have new things to say and to show. Um, something coming up in the next month or two, a, a small release. Um, but really by the time of next year, I hope we've made a couple of hardware releases, and more so than that, I think our software will have made leaps and bounds, taking advantage of all the new devices that are out. Every year we get new tablets, we get new phones, sure, right, right. we get way more compute that we can take advantage of. Cool. Well, look forward to next year. Thanks for joining us here at AWE TV. I'm Mark Pizer, and this is Jeff Powers from Accipital. Thanks.